Hey guys, welcome to Didactics Online. I'm Rob Cowell. Today we're going to talk about another technique that you can use if all else fails. So there's something called RRAF techniques. It stands for Rapid, Rhythmic, Antagonistic Facilitation Techniques. Well that's a whole lot to tell your patients. So we kind of just refer to them as running techniques after the creator. So running techniques are great if you've got a real tight type 2 dysfunction with a big guy or you've got an osteoporotic older woman that you really don't want to use a whole lot of other things on. So actually we have a medical student here I need a volunteer. Weber, how you doing bud? Yeah, I'm doing great. Good to see you man. You studying some OPP? I am. Awesome. Actually I need a volunteer and you're studying. Would you like to learn a new technique and help us out? I would love to learn a new technique. Awesome. Okay, so go ahead and take your shirt off and line your stomach for me. Now. The ready techniques that we're talking about are going to work great on him. He's a muscular guy. I'm sure he's probably got a good type 2 dysfunction hidden in there somewhere. And to find more on that, look at our diagnosis videos on thoracics that we have on uh, Didactics Online. So go ahead and line up for me, bud. So what we're trying to do is just like the name sounds, rapid rhythmic antagonistic facilitation. Basically, I'm just going to take two segments and shake them back and forth. So the type 2 dysfunctions are held up by the smaller intrinsic muscles, the inner transversari, the rotatories, supraspinous, interspinous, and some of the smaller ones. Don't forget, they hold rotation and side bending together with a flexed or extended component as opposed to the long muscles that create neutral dysfunctions that rotate and side bend opposite. So basically what we're going to do is grab both sides of a transverse process and then just start to shake them back and forth. Now I'm using a considerable amount of force here, and after about 30 seconds or so, they'll even slide apart. So the antagonistic facilitation here takes these cross muscle fibers, and eventually they get tired of firing, and they'll, they won't hold up the rotation and side bending components as well. They don't know which direction they're actually moving because they're firing, they're stretching out, they're being pulled tight. Eventually they give up. So yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing, I'm just going to relax. And you'll feel a release in the thoracics. So you can shake them together and then shake them apart. You'll find that this will really soften up a lot of your type 2 dysfunctions when all of your other techniques haven't really worked. After they're a little looser, go back to your HVLA, muscle energy, FPR and see if you get a little bit more of a response that you haven't yet. Or in more of those older ladies that you don't want to jump on as much or anybody with some bone issues, you'll have more of a softening of the dysfunction overall and take care of some of the larger neutral curves around. You might even get a little softening of that muscle as well. So this is a great technique. What do you think, Weber? Pretty good? Yeah. All right. Another one you can put in your tool bag. So thanks for following us on Didactics Online. We always welcome any comments and suggestions for next time videos. We'll see you next time.